my dear friends today all over the world we celebrate the feast of christmas god coming to be with us immanuel when i speak about the presence of god coming down to be with us i remember the book of exodus chapter 33 verse 14 where the lord spoke to moses i will personally go with you moses and my presence when it goes with you it will give you rest and everything will be fine for you my dear friends we all of us look for opportunities where everything will go well with us and that is the great privilege god gives to you and me the privilege of god giving his presence to us in the old testament we know primarily god created us to be with us to enjoy his holy presence is god's intention we read in genesis chapter 3 verse 7 when adam and eve sinned the lord came to meet them the presence of god was calling them my son abraham my son adam where are you my daughter eve where are you yes later we find the same god continues to walk and give his presence to abraham to isaac to jacob we read in genesis chapter 18 when god wants to destroy the land which was full of sin sodom gomorrah god says how can i do it without informing my friend abraham and the bible says chapter 18 of genesis god came and stood with abraham like a friend he spoke to him and then he went away yes god's presence was always very visible like friends we talk with each other they experience god's presence but soon man began to live in sin sin means moving away from the presence of god trying to live by himself or herself that's why we read that how man started to build the great wall yes the great wall he said i can live by miss myself i can build my own glory at in and it ended in a terrible thing god's presence always long to be with man so in later years when god was leading the people of israel from their slavery through moses we read in the book of numbers chapter 10 verse 33 god said my presence goes with you you lost my presence and so you led you were led into sin you became slaves and so many years the absence of my presence have destroyed you but now i'll go before you make a covenant box and carry them the bible says as they were carrying the covenant box god's presence went before them and god did everything well when they have to get up when they have to move when they have to stop when the glory of god came upon the covenant box they stopped again when it came they started to move on yes and then in the later years we read during the days of king and king david and others the covenant box has to be kept in a temple so david started to build a temple of course it was completed it was started and built to by his son solomon though david decided to build it 
and he collected all the materials. And God once again said, I'll be with you. God was longing always to be with the man, to establish his presence with the man. Now, when the temple was built, God said, my eyes and my ears and my heart will be opened for you. Yes, God always longs to give his presence. But the people of this world, they forgot God and they lived in their own lives. That's why we read in the book of Micah, God literally cries, stand up and state your case against me. O mountains, listen to me. O my people, what have I done to you? What have I done to make you tired of me? Why are you not searching for my presence? Yes, in those moments when they were in Babylon as slaves, God raised up the prophet Isaiah. And in Isaiah chapter 9, the prophecy was given to the prophet. It was said, The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in the land of deep darkness, great light will come. Today man is living in darkness. Yes, only the presence of God will dispel the darkness and give light to the people. And the Lord continued, verse 6, For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and God will rule his people. He will be wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. Yes, God promised through the prophets that he will send his son. Why? For two reasons. Number one, to establish his presence amidst us. Because without his presence, we can't live. It is the presence of God that transforms our lives. Day for yesterday, I had gone to Kodad for semi-Christmas. I met a couple who came there and they told me, Father, do you remember me? I said, I have seen you somewhere. That woman said, we were not having child for 14 years. We went to all the temples and even we went to the mosques. We went here and there. And all that the people have told us that because of our sin, because of our curses, and we have to do this, we have to do that, we went to Himalaya, we went to different places of worship, nothing has happened to us. And we came six months ago to St. Anthony's Shrine. You were there on Tuesday. My friends brought me. And as you are praying, do you remember, Father, you prayed and my husband just fell down. He could not bear. Some kind of power came upon him. And that when the power came upon him, something else went away from him. Suddenly he realized his whole body became light. Then he told me, all these years, I was carrying this heavy burden. I did not know what it is. But when that father prayed, that, he, that power went away and another power of life, light came upon me. I told them, I don't have any power. We only pray to Jesus and trust in Jesus. He can do everything for you. From that day onwards, our life is changed, Father. A little prayer where you prayed for Jesus. When the presence of Jesus came, and today I am pregnant with four months, she said to glorify God in front of so many. Yes, the presence of God is coming because the people of this world are governed with the darkness, sickness, Instead of holding on to God, they just throw away their life to anything and everything. And the darkness comes in the absence of light. When we do not know the light, when we do not seek the light, we all die with the darkness. 
the darkness destroy us yes that's why the prophet says the whole world is covered with the darkness and that darkness covers every human being but don't worry jesus is coming and a child is given to you and he will be his name will be called wonderful counselor he will be the loving father who will understand all our problem and he will be a wonderful savior he will come with his power and might and he will give you eternal peace yes we have hundreds of witnesses that today also the same jesus is coming to us telling us receive my light receive my peace receive my counseling receive my power and glory so christmas is once again for all of us to know where are we in what condition we are living if there are sickness if there are disturbances if there are anything of evil do not lose courage return to jesus call upon him and once you receive him you will receive light you will receive life you will receive salvation that's what we read in the book of isaiah chapter 50 says verse 10 onwards who among you fears the lord and obeys his servant if you are walking in darkness without a ray of light trust in the lord and rely on your god call upon him come lord jesus come into my life i surrender my life to you he will give it to you and verse 11 says watch out you who live in your own light you are thinking you can live your life as you wish so many people are trying to guide you or guide you and give you light the word of god says watch out you who live in your own light and warm yourself by your own fires people are trying to make their own fire a lady a prostitute lady came and told me father i earned plenty of money with that i earned sickness with that i earned a kind of fear that was running behind me wherever i go and when she committed to jesus she was relieved she came back to jesus she became a new person yes she went back she lost her husband and the family now once she came back to jesus the glory and mercy of god the grace of god came upon her and she got back her family she is living happily yes i know the whole family this is the reward the lord says if you don't return to god and try to live your with your own fire the reward will be great torment will come upon you but jesus he wants to give us life and light so welcome him welcome him as you welcome him make him your lord and savior may his grace his power destroy the darkness and you enjoy light and life we wish you all wonderful christmas christmas of god's presence his presence that built up moses his presence that guided the prophets the same presence who came in the name of jesus is coming to be with you enjoy him have a wonderful christmas god bless you all